scoreboard chart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We have just two weeks to go until the Green Market Summit called the Economics of Branding. It's going to be in Los Angeles on September 11th and 12th. Go to www.greenmarketsummits.com for tickets. If you come, you will see CNBC's Jane Wells interview, Plus Product CEO Jake Highmark. They're going to talk about the importance of creating your brand. While singer Melissa Etheridge is going to be making an appearance on a panel about celebrity branding. You will not want to miss this deep dive conference. All right, moving on to the news. We had a lot of earnings this week and from some of the major players in the industry. We're just going to hit the highlights here. Green Thumbs Industries, or GTI, said its second quarter revenue increased 228% to $44.7 million, and that was a 60% jump sequentially. Still, though, the company delivered a net loss of $22.2 million versus a net loss of $9.7 million in the first quarter, so it went up. They also announced that they closed on their acquisition of Fiorella Pharmaceuticals here in New York. Tilt Holdings delivered revenue of $39 million in its second quarter, but they also reported a whopping net loss of $48.9 million. Curaleaf Holdings reported revenue of $35.2 million in its second quarter. Their net loss came in at $24.5 million. Ianthus delivered second quarter revenues of $9.2 million, but they had net losses of $9.3 million. Still, that was a trim from the net loss of $16.5 million in the first quarter. Slang Worldwide delivered second quarter revenue that increased sequentially by 44% to $7.2 million. Better yet, Slang reported a net income of $17.5 million in the quarter. That's versus a net loss of $13 million for the same time period in 2018. They got there because they had some options valuations that increased. Tilray announced it was buying the Alberta dispensary chain 420 in a deal valued at 110 million Canadian dollars. 420 has six licensed retail stores and an additional 16 locations available. Pound Labs raised 30 million for a dual purpose breathalyzer that tests for alcohol and cannabis. And this week is Labor Day. Markets will be closed on Monday. We hope everyone enjoys their three day weekend. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Marker Report from Times Square.